I might be 26 days to the start of the 2023 general elections, but tonight the question is how many days is it to the end of vote buying? I'm not the one with the answers. Perhaps Vajde Ogusomo can tell us. You like to ask these questions, don't you? Yes, I do. Um, you're right. It's, it's 26 days to the election. The question most Nigerians want to really um, let us answer is who will win. But tonight isn't about who will win. No, I think it it's isn't. about vote buying. Yeah, it is. Tonight is about fears of vote buying and vote selling. So do you have any proof, you know, that um, exchange of votes of, for money will play a significant role in this election as it perhaps has in previous elections? So, yes, um, we have proved that exchange of money for votes will play a significant role in this election. We also have proof on the three categories that would most influence the election results. Um, so I'd like to start with the first of the three categories that would most have the most impact on this result. And if we take a look at that first category, we're talking about rural areas. Here's what I mean. 70% of Nigeria's population live in rural areas. The evidence from the Independent National Electoral Commission also shows that an estimated 70% of its polling units, of the 100 and over 176,000 polling units, are going to be located in rural areas. So the truth is, rural areas will be the most, will be one of those three categories that will influence um, the results. And who are those based on the evidence from the National Bureau of Statistics? Majority of Nigeria's poor people live in these rural areas. And that's where we find high propensity for vote trading and um, vote buying and selling, as people um, will call it. So yes, um, that's the evidence. Number one, rural areas, poor people living in rural areas. And this is rural areas across the country, right? Rural Not areas. specific yes. areas, okay. Rural areas across the country. But here's the second and perhaps the most um, important thing which you're talking about, the poor people. The poor people, even more than the youths, will influence what happens in the next 26 days. And I'd also like us to take a look at the facts from the National Bureau of Statistics and the Independent National Electoral Commission regarding poverty in Nigeria. Here are the facts, Amarachi. Today, yes, the evidence shows that there are 65.6 million Nigerians who are poor adults. Poor adults. 65.6 million Nigerian adults are poor. The challenge is, how many adults are registered to vote? Because that will give us an idea of how many poor people are on the register. And so that's the answer, 93.5 million. In simple terms, more than half of the names on the voter database are poor people. I'll repeat that. More than half of the 93.5 million Nigerians that are registered are poor people. And so that is the second point. The first point, Nigerians living in rural areas will determine who becomes the next president or leader because that's where majority of the polling units and majority of the voters live. The second point is it is Nigeria's poor, the poorest of the poor, will be the ones to decide who leads them. And that is because the fact shows that we have 65.6 million Nigerians, adult Nigerians who are poor, and majority of these poor people are the ones are registered. So we'll have to decide what exactly will be their choice. I don't know what to say. You've left me astounded. But um, is there any way to also forecast which are the areas or zones that might be prone to a vote trading? And give us specifics here. Yeah, so um, that brings me to the th third point. Remember the first point is the rural areas, families living in rural areas will determine um, the outcome of the election, the second point is, is the poor families because majority of those on the database are poor. And if the poor will determine who will win, it simply brings us to the third point, the impact of the wealthy, the rich. So living, families living in rural areas, the poor and the wealthy. And by the wealthy, I'd like us to take a look at the fact, especially with the release of the central bank today that states that we still have 900 billion naira. In other words, the central bank governor says they are looking for 900 billion naira sitting in people's homes. They haven't said who owns the money, but the central bank has come out to say 
900 billion naira that should be in the banks, even though it had given a deadline, still has not come in to the system. 900 billion naira, Amarachi, is a lot of money comparing to, look, if you look at the number of Nigerians who are poor and how much of it, it can, will have an impact. But let's take a look at the facts. In the north, we have 50.2 million registered voters. In the north, adults living in poverty, 39.3 million people. In other words, the vulnerability to sell your vote in the north, 78%. 78% of registered voters potentially will be willing to sell their votes. And that is because we have in the north 39.3 million adults, and we only have 50.2 million voters on the database. So the vulnerability in the north, 78%. Let's look at what's going on in the southern region. Registered voters, 43.3 million. Adults living in poverty, 26.3 million. In other words, six out of 10 voters are vulnerable in the south. In the north, eight out of 10 are vulnerable to sell their vote. In the final analysis, I will call this election a war between the monies of the rich and the will of the poor, which will prevail, the monies of the rich or the will of the poor. And that's what we're going to find out on February 25. Before then, we'll be in the studio to share a lot more analysis as yeah. to what exactly will shape the decisions. Will it be money? Will it be pure strength or will? And maybe the CBN should also follow uh, the trail of the monies uh, missing from... Uh, 900 billionaire, 900 billionaire, 900 billionaire yeah. still sitting in somebody's home oh, or some person's it's home. It's sitting in an empty house somewhere, but that's day I assure you that. Thank we'll you. find out in the days ahead. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for coming tonight and giving us a lot more to chew on. Thanks again. The pleasure is all mine.